Jeff Olin part three. He says that I came into his office crying. I left his office crying and I'm going to explain to you why. Kristen Applegate is actually why I left Jeff Olin's office crying. He told me that her fight with breast cancer was more important than mine. And I'm not saying that her fight with cancer was insignificant because it was significant. She had a mastectomy and she also had to have her ovaries removed because of um, genetic testing. We both had ductal carcinoma in situ, but my fight with cancer was in 2005, three years before Christine Applegate's. And I didn't know information about Christine Applegate at all. I didn't know who she was married to. I didn't know her history at all. I knew nothing about her. I knew she was an actress on a television show that I occasionally would watch on TV. This is the interesting part of all of this. John Shaw, who is Christina Applegate's ex-husband. I did not know that. I did not know that until recently. In fact, until after he became a member of the Sexual Harassment Committee for SAG-AFTRA. I tried to tell him on Twitter what happened to me. But guess what? I'm not in People Magazine, so I don't have the right to apparently get his help. I member sag after but I'm not making any money right now as a sag after actress so even though I'm a member and give them dues I'm not allowed to have justice from the committee I'm not in fact I've been excluded from my privileges as a sag after member since 2013 no classes no entertain no involvement and a friend of mine recently emailed me from Santa Monica College telling me I'm not a failure because the industry's hard and it depends on who you know well I had been spending years in the industry networking to get to know people I was very shy and very insecure though about stuff about such my looks and things because I don't look like Christina Applegate and so women like it Christine some women like not like Christina but some women who look like Chris, were treat were mean to me were horrible to me because in their, in their perspective I wasn't good enough without finding out that I had a theater degree without finding out I was trained as an actor um, I, irony John Shaw studied economics at the University of Maryland and had one acting class. I studied business economics at McDaniel College and got a theater degree and went on to get a master's in performing arts management and studied television acting at American University and went to law school at Catholic University. And people who knew me knew I was better at acting than anything else. John Shaw grew up 30 minutes away from me in Baltimore, Maryland. His father was a police officer. My father was a Homeland Security agent. He studied business economics with one econ economics with one acting class. I studied business economics with a theater degree from McDaniel College. I went and got a master's in performing arts management. His, John Shaw's attitude is that you I guess you're supposed to be attractive to be an actor. My attitude is no, you don't. You don't have to be. There are lots of working actors who don't look blonde and beautiful and perfect, and they're not. I'm not going to be a character actor. 